what up guys welcome back to uh, Paul Riley uncensored and also to smoking session um, today we're not on the normal little um, thing we are actually in Lex the Rex's car what's that and we're interviewing him today oh why did I press the lock button anyways I'm rolling up this window um, we are already high we did not roll a joint for this car ride but anyways, guys, I'm here to interview Lex. The lighting's a little bit bad. I, I, I apologize. Um, anyways, Lex, I've known for years. We were switched at birth or something like that. It, that's, that's how it had to have happened. Yeah, tell, tell them how it had to have happened. Um, the, the adoption papers got slipped into the birthing papers, and she accidentally signed me over, so... I, I think that's what And then happened. we got reunited by working with each other. I, yeah. It was, it was magic. It was magic. Do you believe in magic? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm, we're going to have some questions for you off the fly. These, none of these are like, you know, I didn't write any questions down for this or anything like that. So, um, you know. I, so, like, I, I, you've seen the video that I did with El Elena, my sister-in-law. Um, and you said you watched that. So, and one of the questions on that video was about how she used to work at McDonald's. At all the McDonald's. We actually work at the same McDonald's that she worked at before, too. Um, what, what did you think about McDonald's? Be completely honest. No, nothing is off the table in this. I didn't really like it too well. I mean, I like the people for the most part when they weren't like favoritizing yeah. who they thought were better workers than the people that actually were hard workers. So would you say fuck McDonald's if we pass McDonald's because we are definitely going to pass the McDonald's that we went to? Yes. Yay! Uh, okay. And, um... Would I work for them again? No. You worked for them like five times, didn't you, or something like that? That's because I couldn't quit smoking weed, and I still can. Yeah, and that's why we're here. <laughs> to, uh, even though we already smoked weed before this video, so I mean, I don't, I don't know. If yeah, we did smoke before the video, so don't think that. Yeah, so don't think that we didn't, even though we did, and you didn't see it, but we did smoke. Um. And uh, so um. What what was what what other jobs did you work before McDonald's? Um, number one polymer uh, on Peacock Road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we recycled plastic, and uh, I was like, uh, I grinded the plastic, I bailed the plastic. Uh, do you like to grind weed? Oh, I plastic. Love, yeah, I'd rather be in that industry any day than. Oh yeah, tell them tell them about our I, our I, our ideals for the future for us together. Um, no, it's not gay, by the way. We we are. Oh man, we're gonna get married. No, no, <laughs> uh. no. Uh, well, shit. There's a lot of we have a lot of ideas. We have. I got movie scripts that I want to finish. I want to have him help me. Uh, some book scripts, and then we got other casts that we're wanting to come out with mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. these podcast deals, lighting the, the ambient. Oh, and we're also talking about making a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, a YouTube channel. Um, we don't really have a, a YouTube name, though. Um, and you, you did any ideas, please help. And then you also, you, we've also tried to come up with your name, and the only thing we could come up with was, was Lex the Rex. Yeah. I thought we could do better than that, but I mean, if that's good, what you want Good to nicknames for uh, people that uh, are good with rhyming with Lex. Come on, I, I need help with this. I'm stumped. And nothing perverted. Lex sex. Sexy Lexi. Sexy Lexi. Um. Uh, yeah. Um, so what did you like? What did you dislike about McDonald's? Did you like anything about McDonald's? Some of the women. I liked the free food. Yeah, the free meal was good. Yeah. It, it didn't come out of our pocket or anything. Yeah, that was cool, bro. I missed that. But it sucked that it was 15 minutes. Oh, like, and you yeah, also, you also have though. a job. You had an orientation today uh, for... I work with him. Well, you, yeah. Again. Uh, of course. Um, 
It's including uh, Elena, who was in the second to last podcast. Um, but yes, you're going to be working at Texas Roadhouse being a dishwasher and possibly getting trained to be a buster. Yes. How do you feel about that? Excited. I, I was honestly nervous, but I don't even know why. And that guy that was sitting right across from me, Yeah. I used to hang out with him. Oh, did you? Yeah. I thought he was like 15. No, he's uh, 19 now. Oh, he looks young. He was 13 when I met him. In like high school or? No, uh, we'd go over to a buddy's and smoke, and he'd be over there not smoking, but he'd be over there hanging out with their kids. And I'd let him like sit there and just punch me in my stomach and shit. Oh, so um, also tell them about how you used to throw my Teletubbies on the roof. It goes way back, guys. Way back. Like, I don't remember throwing the Teletubbies, <laughs> but there are rumors that not only myself, but your older brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, mom, mom used to babysit him, and we used to, like, we grew up with each other. And then, like, we got reunited in, like, the past year at McDonald's. And we didn't even know that we knew each other until we... Yeah, we were working around cracking jokes like we knew each other. No, mom told mom told me like the first day that I started there that he, she used to babysit you, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And then we like would get in the same room, and I'd be like, what? <laughs> and we we've always talked about how we wanted to do something, either like make a band or uh, make a YouTube channel, S something that, in all honesty, will. Bring in some type of revenue. Millions of people do it. Why not try to do it, you know? Oh, bro, One see. of them deals. Bro, we've only been recording for six minutes. We're totally not going to be recording for a whole 20 minutes like the other podcasts. We could see it. We could out, we could out at the driveway and finish it. I, I don't know about if that. They, they, you don't think that they'll be okay with that? No, they'll probably be like, who the fuck is out in that car? By the way, guys, I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if I've ever talked about it yet. But I live with my old lady's parents, and they're iffy about certain things. Why don't we just go sit in, like, the McDonald's parking lot or something? We moved to town, and he moved out of town. Yeah, that's how it worked. I lived in Richmond, and you lived... In Williamsburg. The Williamsburg. I live in Centerville now, which I probably shouldn't have said that on camera. Now they're going to hunt me down. and uh, <laughs> They're going to assassinate you. Ah! Oh, what do you think about the Area 51 raid? Are you gonna? Are you in or are you out? I want to go. I want to go, If too. it's a legit thing, I want to go. Just I think it's really just a meme, to be completely honest. I don't think anybody's really going to like raid Area 51. What if there are um, people that show up? Well, if there's some, like, okay, if, if there is some chance, like, if there's anything at Area 51 and there's documents on Area 51, do you think they should release those documents? If there is any info about aliens, it is in Area 52, not Area 51. There might still be a few things. Yeah. But I'm telling you, everybody, Area 52, look it up. When the media wanted to first come into Area 51, the military couldn't tell them no because then they would be saying, yes, we are hiding something that you aren't allowed to see. Yeah. So they moved everything to Area 52, let the press come in, do their talking, basically give them a shit show while they covered up all the legitimate evidence of aliens. So do you want to like sit in the Shell parking lot and finish this podcast or what? Shell? Yeah, the Shell gas station right Are up here. Are we able to? Yeah. They shouldn't say anything. That or you could even just... I told you you could have parked in the McDonald's parking lot. It's just we're only coming up on nine minutes. I usually try to stretch them out to 20. Okay, hang on. Litty titty. A litty titty. There's some light. They can see my eyeballs. <laughs> you're just gonna end up keep on going down roads. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. I know what I know what I'm doing, bro. Uh, don't don't get lost. I'm lost. <laughs> um, have you ever really been lost? Like, no. No. Even when I don't know the way, I've never truly been lost. So tell me about your drug history. I've done marijuana. 
Okay. Shrooms. Okay. Acid. Okay. Or AKA LSD. Yeah. I've done uh, dye purple tryptamine and or DPT and DMT, which is dimethyltryptamine, and they're both molecules of, off of acid. They're cousin molecules to acid. And uh, would I recommend all those? Hell yes. Uh, it's not like crack or Oh heroin. shit, bro, did you see that raccoon? Yeah. Oh Trash man, panda. when I was in a band, we were coming back from Guitar Center. And we were going down 70, going 75. A raccoon runs out in front of us. And literally this side of the car, both wheels came off the ground. We were like this in the car. The car was literally like this on two wheels for like two seconds. That's how fucking fat this raccoon was. Yeah. Are you turning on the light? Oh, that's cool, I guess. Um, Give it some... Uh, <laughs> Some dope effects. Some dope effects. Um. So what what do you think about my podcast so far? My my podcast series. This is actually I think like the sixth episode. You have something going for you. Um, Just keep with it. And guys, we bought a bigger tripod so you guys could actually see the setup we got at headquarters, which would be where we I actually have my own set up and all that um but right now like i said we're fil filming in his car um i swear you're gonna get lost i'm not gonna get lost we're just gonna get to centerville okay i i have done i have taken stoner cruises for 10 almost 10 years of my life consistently damn near every day and if it hasn't been every day it's almost been every day and i'm not shitting you so what do you think about um April this upcoming year being 420 all month. I need to get stoned every day. For you gonna my birthday is on the 16th, so it's gonna be 420 on my birthday. Yeah. You just blew my mind. Yeah. So we're gonna have to have me a little stone at Yeah, party. we need a bro. That's. Do you ever take stoner cruises? Uh, not anymore, really. Uh, we need to on your birthday. Something like that, or it doesn't even have to be on my birthday. It could be a different day. But guys, we will have a podcast. I'm thinking with I don't know if I'll have the supplies, but I want to try to have a podcast or have on this channel a vlog for each day, and we could call it Weed Miss, since it's like each day. Out oh, of the ooh! Fun facts about marijuana. Fun facts about marijuana. We should definitely do something like that. Uh -oh, oh, yeah. Somebody's going to take it. <laughs> Damn. They took our ideal already. Better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what did you do to get this blue light put in? Uh, pulled the system down. Took out the old bulb and put in a... Oh, so you have a third kid on the way? How does, how does that feel? My third kid? Yes. Um, I'm too, uh, to be honest, I love the woman I'm with, but she changed into a nut bag after having our first kid together. Do you, are you, you going to have another one after this? Are you gonna no, get, she's getting her tubes tied. Are you going to get it fixed as well? Uh, if, they're off, if, if the government is still offering money for testicles, yes. 30, is that a real thing? 30, yeah, $35,000 a nut. Bro. That's $70,000. Selling your your nads. You're gonna like invest in my my channel if you get that much money out of your nuts. Bro, we're gonna get a fucking pro setup deal. Like I'm not even joking. We'll have a legit like. I don't want to get rid of my nuts yet. Bro, we could do a studio down in my basement. Oh uh, yeah, we could. We just have to be sit for most of the time because for how tall you are, like I even have to kind of duck down to walk in my basement. I'd but like to like get. I'd like generation. to get a little setup at, at at my place too, so I can, you know, record my podcast when I'm not with you. Also, yeah. Because I, as of right now, I don't have a car or a vehicle, and you're gonna start working soon, and I'm gonna start working soon. 
so not gonna be able to like go back and forth every day until well, or unless I oh shit that's a very what, deep what really uh, oh bro I take this 40 hang on to your phone uh, okay <laughs> um but like I was saying actually what was I saying I forgot I don't remember I know because you just said something about um how fast I was going uh, I don't know but, uh, yeah. And hey, we've been 15 minutes. Yeah. Jesse's probably like, they're getting high again. Yeah. No, we're just doing shooting a podcast. Yeah. You can oh. tell her that, too. How do you like working at Texas Roadhouse? Oh, I I enjoy it. I didn't know. You were the one asking the questions, but... Hey, I will help make this as entertaining as possible. Um, I like it just because compared to McDonald's, um, McDonald's is just a shitty-ass place to work for in general. And Texas Roadhouse, you got a couple minors, but, like, they're not as, you know, children. They're, they're more mature. So, yeah, that, you know, that's like a big thing right there. The maturity level of everybody yeah. seems a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any ideas of what I should do my next podcast on? That's my next question. I could do a podcast on my job history and my current job. And how things are going. Yeah. That that'll be in the next the next. What new podcast. relationships you've made? I'm joking, Sky. <laughs> um, You're like I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> I I don't like editing any videos right now on my phone. It even won't let me. I have an editing software, but like the way it works, it's like weird. What's this? We're lost. Yeah, wait, that's airport. <laughs> that's, 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 that's where I live. I got tricks up my sleeve, homie. Um, I don't I'm like, know. I'm like Houdini in this bitch. I don't know what else to ask. Um, yes, I like my marijuana. Oh, I love my marijuana too. Oh, what's your preference? Bowls, bongs, joints, hookahs? Straight throw that bitch on the table and just light it like the cops do. What's your preference? Um, I I love my doobies. I love my bowls. I can get down with a blunt or two from time to time. Oh yeah, I forgot about blunts. Um, I love bongs. I used to have four bongs. I want some bongs. Uh, I broke mine. One thing I want to do, but I go I smoke weed so fast that I can't like really just do it just to see but I want to eat weed just a bud and see what exactly that does it wouldn't do anything yeah, you gotta does. cook it in butter don't you no man it just takes so much longer for the effects this is almost like eating an edible yeah the only reason why you smoke it is so you get that, that that high quick a lot quicker but no you'll feel it more um but and your your guy uh, said that he also might have some gummy bears. Do you think you'd come and do that on a podcast with me if I get some? Fuck yeah! I think that would be a new way to get high for the the podcast. Um, now my preference, I do I do love bongs just because it hits you harder. Um, I did have a gas mask bong, but there's like something wrong with it. I, I cannot do those. Those almost kill me. Or I feel like I'm dying. But <laughs> I do I do want to get a new one. Um, blunts I'm I'm cool with. I've never smoked one by myself. I wouldn't. I I'd like to <sighs> for the channel. Bro, well then we need to get us a backwoods blunt. A it's, back it's a Two gram of Kush, one third gram of Keef, and Shatter. Okay, so it's it's 
it's a blunt rolled in two grams of kush then on the outside it's rolled in dab and then on the outside of the dab you have your keef and he can get those from time to time um so we are coming up on 20 minutes now 20 minutes so do you want to end this here <laughs> It was a good little podcast. It was a nice little podcast. I felt like it was. I Please feel. leave your comments if you can. Let um, us know what to do to improve them. And then also, um, there might be a slight chance that Lex might be one of the actual guys on the podcasts with me. Um, for, like, good. It might be some episodes where he's not... Um, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I might be a familiar face. But I also would like to try to start up a channel with you or something like that. That dude was walking his dog out of the middle yeah, of fucking nowhere. I was like, is that an alien? <laughs> uh, it's an alien. <laughs> um, but I would, we would like to try to start a channel up and start doing some crazy skits. I don't know if you guys watch Smosh or anything, but that's kind of where I got the idea. You kind of just are going along with what I've been saying. Um, but we have a couple ideals for skits wrote down, um, and guys, uh, we would like to start up a new channel, so if you have any ideals for a channel name, and if you have any ideals for, uh, his stage name, kinda, um, I was thinking, like, Lex Williamson or some shit like that, or, I don't know. It's just so hard to come up with a name with Lex. Lex Williamson. Sounds sophisticated. <laughs> you know I'm not sophisticated like that. I might be smart, but I'm not sophisticated. Lex Lexington Rogers. L to the W. L L Wood. L Wood. Oh, did I just miss it? I missed it. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this podcast. Here. Comments, comments, comments. We hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Later. Uh, you can't Ow. see me.